Hypoallergenic dog breeds. If you have a runny nose and watery eyes after spending time with dogs, or even if you already have diagnosed allergies, there's still a chance you can adopt a dog. Keep watching my video to see which dogs you can adopt in this situation. What does a hypoallergenic dog mean? Hypoallergenic dog breeds are often described as non-shedding or hairless dogs. Indeed, they are breeds or types of dog that shed very little or whose coat type, or hairlessness, makes them less likely to cause a reaction, depending on the breed. But does a dog's coat alone determine the risk of an allergic reaction? The real answer to this question is that it is dandruff, not just hair, that causes allergic reactions in humans. Dandruff can be defined as small pieces of skin that fall off a dog, much like human dandruff as shedding. Dander, the factor that can create the allergic hazard, is often combined with other allergens such as proteins found in the dog's urine, feces, and saliva. In most breeds, the shed hair can carry the proteins and be distributed throughout your home. So-called hypoallergenic breeds do not have this problem. But of course, they can still cause an allergic reaction. No breed is really safe against allergies. And all these allergy-triggering proteins can get into the air, especially when your dog is brushed or licked. When you pet your dog or your dog licks you, the dander and protein can also be transferred directly to you. So, despite the labeling, there is never a guarantee that a hypoallergenic dog breed will not trigger your allergies. Small tips on choosing a dog for allergy sufferers. Once you've narrowed down your options, your work is still not done. Just because a breed fits your lifestyle and is considered hypoallergenic does not mean it is right for you. Because each person is an individual, each allergic reaction will be different. For example, a person may have an allergic reaction to a poodle, but not to an American hairless terrier. Only the experience of one-to-one -one contact will be the determining factor here. That's why it's important to physically interact with your chosen breed before you get a puppy or an adult dog. Only by being around a particular breed can you determine how much, if any, allergic reaction you will have. In addition, since one breed may produce fewer reactions than another, you may need to try several different hypoallergenic dog breeds when looking for your mate. It is good advice to narrow down your options at first, and then let the allergy sufferer spend some time with a member of each breed on the list and observe the situation. Also, doing this at different times to see if there is a significant difference in the allergic response can lead to the right conclusion. How can you reduce dog allergens? Regardless of the breed you choose, there are still some steps you can take to reduce the severity of your allergy symptoms when you bring your dog home. First, allergy-proof your home. Pet allergens are small and lightweight, so they easily stick to curtains, furniture, carpets and bedding. Minimize these surfaces in your home. For example, use blinds instead of curtains and hardwood or linoleum flooring instead of carpeting. Small changes like these can help you manage the crisis. Second, keep surfaces clean. Make sure your floors and furniture are vacuumed frequently. Using a machine with a high-efficiency particulate air filter can be tiring, but it's a good option. Also, wash fabrics that your dog comes into contact with, such as your dog's bedding, as often as possible. Keep your dog away from furniture and your bedroom. A home air filtration system designed to reduce allergens is also an option. Third, always prioritize hygiene. Make sure to wash your hands after touching your dog to keep allergens off your skin. It's also important to keep your dog well-groomed. Frequent bathing and combing can reduce the amount of dandruff that accumulates. 
If possible, ask someone else in the family to do the grooming so you can avoid allergens. If you and your dog are the only family members, you should still avoid close contact when grooming. And consider brushing your dog outside to minimize further hazards in your home. Alternatively, use the services of a professional groomer. Finally, there are many medications available to relieve allergy symptoms, such as itchy eyes or a stuffy nose. It's also important to consult your doctor about appropriate treatments. It may also be useful to see an allergist to find out if it is appropriate for you to use allergy vaccines to build tolerance to dogs over time. Even if you have or think you have allergies, with medical attention and the above recommendations, you can still make your beloved companion a beloved new member of your household. Which breeds are hypoallergenic? 1. Often pincher. Pet owners with allergies can breathe a little easier with an Offenpincher at home. Although the Affen is not a non-shedding breed, they have a wiry coat that requires only occasional removal of old, dead hair, as all puppies shed a little. With a little care, you can manage the process harmlessly. 2. Bisenji Practically as effective at self-cleaning as a cat, Basenji is a great choice for allergy sufferers in the hypoallergenic category. Not only does this puppy clean itself, but its soft, short coat doesn't shed as much as other dogs. And with less dandruff and less impact on sensitive immune systems, it can also be categorized as risk-free. Three, Bedlington Terrier. These lamb-like dogs are covered in a tightly curled coat with wool that barely sheds. Bedlingtons may need a little brushing, as the tight, curly coat can become matted without daily brushing. Don't worry, he won't shed much during this combing process. Fourth, be shown frise. One of the most important commonalities an allergy sufferer will have with a Bichon Frise is the sound of contentment. The soft, fluffy fur is tightly curled and stays in place until combed. He will be pleased as you groom him, and you will be very pleased with this adorable companion who only sheds a little during grooming, but normally does not shed at all. 5. Hairless Chinese Crested, less hair definitely reduces the chances of allergic reactions for pet parents with sensitive immune systems. The Hairless Chinese Crested has almost no hair, which means that this breed sheds little or no hair at all, depending on how often it is brushed. Rest assured. 6. Havanese the Havanese has a similar coat type to the hypoallergenic Bichon Frise, making them another ideal choice for allergy sufferers. The fluffy coat is not curly like the Bichon, but deceptively thick with a soft wave, which helps to prevent hair from shedding everywhere. 7. Irish Water Spaniel Irish Water Spaniels can be great dogs for allergy sufferers if brushed regularly and groomed every few months. Eight, Kerry Blue Terrier. While most dogs shed every day, a Kerry Blue's coat sheds roughly every three weeks, helping a person with sensitive allergies to more easily control the amount of hair that falls from it at home. The Kerry Blue is known as a non-shedder, with a wavy, curly coat that retains most of the allergy-causing hair until shaving day. Nine, Commodore. Adult Commodores do not shed in the traditional sense. Because the hair is so tightly styled, traditional shedding is unlikely and they are ideal for people with allergies. 10. Poodle slash Poodle For people with mild allergy sensitivities to pets, the Poodle can adapt wonderfully to a home. The breed's curly, slightly frizzy coat traps dead hair and dandruff, 
which can be easily maintained with proper care and regular brushing. So there is no need to worry. 11. Portuguese Water Dog Another good choice for people with mild allergies to pets is the Portuguese Water Dog. Unlike a line dog, this breed tends to shed less but still doesn't shed. Keeping his coat well-groomed will definitely help reduce the chances of allergy symptoms. 12. Pulley Similar to the common door, the pulley's coat can grow if left unbrushed. While a pulley may shed a little, this shedding is trapped inside the coat, which means it's less likely to cause an allergic reaction. Still, don't forget to take them for a grooming every now and then. 13. Giant Schnauzer As with all dogs, the Giant Schnauzer is a breed that sheds its hair, but not in large clumps at a time. Mild allergy sufferers who love this type of dog but have a reaction to dandruff can control the amount of shedding through regular grooming and daily brushing. 14. Shih Tzu With human hair, a Shih Tzu's coat has nearly the same level of potential to cause a severe allergic reaction for someone with pet sensitivities. It should also be noted that the Shih Tzu's coat requires grooming and regular brushing to keep it at an effective, low shedding level. 15. Wire Fox Terrier A dense, wrinkled or wavy coat covers a wire fox terrier from nose to tail. Thanks to the wire density of the coat, shedding is limited in these dogs and dead hair can be easily removed by shaving. 16. Yorkshire Terrier People with allergies are less likely to react to Yorkie's coat, which resembles human hair. These dogs don't shed much, so if kept trimmed and groomed, Yorkies can be an excellent choice for those with mild allergies. 17. Do hypoallergenic dogs have a completely anti-allergenic effect? Sorry, but no. It's important to remember that there are no completely allergen-free dogs. Man's best friend can come in all sizes and coats, but for allergy sufferers, the best bet to check if a pet will cause allergies is to spend some time with the dog. If a dog is labeled hypoallergenic, it simply means that the breed is relatively unlikely to cause an allergic reaction, which makes non-shedding dogs the best option for living almost symptom-free. While some of these allergy-free dogs have heavy coats, such as the pulley, their coats are only one layer, which means there's no undercoat to shed, which means they stick to furniture less. The best option is to know a little about the breed and spend some time observing them before adopting them to make sure nothing goes wrong.